Hello, my name is Kent. I'm the creative specialist on the Google Web Designer team, and I'd like to demonstrate interactive video. I'll start by creating a new blank file, a banner ad. I'll give it a name and accept the defaults. Then I'll drag a video file to the stage. This is an MP4 and resize it with the properties panel. I know this video is 300 by 168, so I'll enter those values and move it to the top center of my document using the alignment controls with the line to container checked. Now I just double click it to open the interactive video dialog. Here I can add cue points and hotspots. Cue points are markers in the video that can be used with the events panel. I can scrub through my video and at the point where the product first appears, I'll click the create cue point icon. Then I'll create two more cue points, one for each white flash. Notice each time I add a cue point, an ID is automatically generated. I can edit these to be more descriptive and can also key in exact times if needed. Once we have the cue points set up, you can use these controls to advance through them and play the video. I'll click Save to accept these changes. Now I want to have some text appear in my ad timed with those cue points. I'll do this by creating text elements and then use events to show and hide them. So I'll get my text tool, draw a rectangle, and key in my message. And I'll get the selection tool and style it in the text panel. Change the font to Arial, center it, and adjust the size. To work in more detail, I'll change my timeline to advanced mode with this icon, and now I can see each element in my file. In my properties panel, I want to assign an ID so I can access this element with events. I'll call it text1, and notice the layer name updates. Now I'll duplicate this text with copy and paste from my keyboard, and I'll change its layer name to text2 and notice how the ID is updated as well. I'll hide the first text so I can edit this one easier. Now make them both visible, shift click both text layers, and in the properties panel set the fill opacity to zero, which hides them. And finally, we can complete the interactivity using the events panel. Down in the lower left corner is the add event icon. I'll choose cue point one, cue point reached, CSS set styles, text one, add property, Opacity, 1. Check easing for a half second, and OK. Now two more for the other cue points. Cue point 2. Set styles. This time I'll turn off my text with opacity 0. and we'll turn on text 2 at our last cue point. I'm ready to preview, but I want to make one quick adjustment just for testing. 
With my video selected, I'll enable autoplay. Easier for testing, but I'll turn that off before publishing. Now I preview. And there's my first message. Fades out. And my second message. Looks great. So let's play it again. And I see a problem. That last text is not being hidden on replay. One quick fix is to add another event. Select your video, Video, Play After Pause, Set Styles, Text 2, Opacity 0, and this time I don't need easing. I'll say OK and preview again. And that works. Now I'll add some hotspots so when users click on the video, they can be directed to a landing page specific to the product clicked. Hotspots are elements that overlay your video, mostly used for click areas, but can also be used as containers for text and images. Again, double click the stage component to open the interactive video dialog. I'll move the playhead to the point I want to be clickable and click the Add Hotspot button. This gray bar in the timeline represents the hotspot in and out points, and I'll see this in my preview as the playhead is moved. By default, Show After Playback is checked. This means the hotspot is still clickable when the video ends, and that's what I want in this case. And if I uncheck it, you'll see the hotspot's not available at the end. I can slide the hotspot by dragging it in my timeline and can stretch it by dragging either end. Note the show and hide times can be edited directly in the panel if that's easier. I'll set this back to cover my ending segment. Now I'll resize the hotspot to just cover the bottle. And give it a more descriptive name. And repeat the process for the last tube. That looks pretty close. I'll click Save. Again, we'll use the Events panel to fill in the interactivity. New Event, Hotspot Hibiscus, Mouse Click, Google Add Exit Add, GWD Add, I'll create a Metrics ID, and enter my full URL for the landing page. OK, and I'll repeat for the other hotspot. Now preview again. I'll fast forward a bit. And this click goes to Hibiscus. And this one goes to Rose.
So that looks great. I want to show one last thing, and that's how to style hotspots. In the video dialog again, I see each hotspot has an overlay asset, and by default it's none, but I can choose any item from my library, like an image or group or even another video. Suppose I want something simple like a color or a border. Here's how to do it. I'll close this dialog and create my border with the element tool and div modifier. I'll draw a rectangle and give it a one pixel red border. Then set its size to percentage and key in 0, 0, 100, 100. Now I'll right click this element and choose create group. I'll give it a name. and OK. With it still selected, the delete key removes it from my stage, but I see the group item still exists in my library. Now change to the selection tool, and back in the dialog, I'll select a hotspot and set its overlay asset to the border group we just made. Scrub the playhead to see it, click the background to deselect everything, but I see my border is missing two edges. That's because of the CSS styling. Let me show how to fix it. I'll save this, and in my library, right-click the border group and choose Edit. Now I'll select the border div, and in my CSS panel, add the property box-sizing, set it to border-box, this keeps the border inside its container, which in our case is the hotspot. So to get back to our file, I'll click the root div in the breadcrumbs, and back in the video dialog, I see my border looks correct now. So I just want to repeat this for my other hotspot, and they both look good. I'll save, and one last preview. I'll watch it all the way through this time. And one last click confirmation. So that's it. That's how you can work with cue points and hotspots to create interactive video in your ads. Thanks for watching.